Okay, so we're up close and personal because I love Sweet Dash, and I think you're here because you love Sweet Dash, but I think I found a kickoff form that's a checkout form that is now blowing my mind that I'm trying to process, but I played around with it and I need you to see it. But I wanna give you some information, okay? So we know that a kickoff form is something that naturally just kicks off an automation or starts a process, but now they've created a kickoff form that can allow you to check out with an actual card to get into the portal. Like pay money before getting into the portal and not sending an invoice. It's a live checkout feature. I'm. J let's just go see it because at this point, Sweet Dash is. If you didn't think that they can do any better, they just keep coming. And every time I go into the system, I'm in awe. So I was simply going about my day and I created create a form. Normally I see just one, two, three, four, maybe community if I had it in an account, but all of a sudden here goes a checkout form. What? So I want to actually play around this live because I've never seen this before. It is 9, 11 p.m. and I'm sure they're going to release this in their release update tomorrow. But I wanted to be the first to sneak and give an update exclusively. So we're going to test this out live, okay? So in this theory, I'm thinking the use case would be that instead of wanting to um, have them go through the process of filling out an invoice of blah, 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 you can actually just create a checkout form and call it whatever you want. You have the ability to add the different gateways. You don't see PayPal here, so just keep a note on that. But you do have the ability to use Stripe. Most companies use Stripe anyway. And then you have this dynamic placeholder. And you know that Sweet Dash is known for their dynamic placeholders anyway. So you get to pull the name and all of the things that would make this unique to the client. So we're gonna just call this full name test. And then you can configure all of the items that go with this. Now, as you know, last, I think, month, they came out with the ability to do items and add-ons, which was very big. And even that was a, a joy to see, but I haven't fully been able to play around with that. But it blows my mind because it's going to be used for a lot of tax professionals, accountants. I can imagine that people are going to go crazy with it. And yes, the video is coming. But in this section, you can see that you have the ability to add a currency. You can make sure that you choose the offer type for either uh, items and add-ons or just packages. So if I chose to do a package, you can still title the package. And remember that this will not show, right? This, it says this title that you, um, this is the title that will show above the packages section. So it will show. I apologize. This is all exciting for me. So I'm going to say test package. And with that being a test package, then I'm gonna go ahead and add a package. Now I do have some sample packages in here and I'm gonna pause and kind of show you how I added packages before, just so that you can understand how that all goes. And we're gonna open a new tab here. So it's fairly new because they've done a lot of different changes, but I do think that packages are one of the, I think the best changes that they could have done. And so inside, I believe, of settings, you now have the, the, app, the ability to add packages. And these packages are very unique because you can add um, images, subscription plans, you can label them, you can be custom with them, you can also include items. So items are definitely a very interesting thing to play with because you can add more than one item here, and then you can also include add-ons on a package. The biggest thing is, Sweet Dash is known for their automations. So of course you have the ability to trigger automations automatically from this level here. That would say anytime this package was paid, then trigger this feature. Or maybe you wanna say anytime an estimate was paid, then figure, you know, trigger this feature. But I can only imagine that now that they've come out with the checkout form feature, that they're gonna add another option to say, configure automations for checkout forms. So I don't think it will trigger anything based on a checkout form, but it could simply do that from this level as well. I don't know. Um, items itself are also very unique. So you can add as many items as you want. 
And within this, you'll see that you can also add an image, but there's no subscription because, of course, it's like an item on an invoice. So you can be able to name it, add a description, label it, create a quantity for it, discounts, all the things. And then you have those same three options as well, which makes this very unique. Now, jumping back to that beautiful form that I was creating, that's not it. <laughs> you'll see that this is my test package here. And of course, if you have a service that you need to add tax to, you want to go ahead and add tax to that package as well. I'm going to just hit save here. What I love is that it comes with the form features. So it comes with the creation of those custom fields. And this is where I think this is going to be phenomenal because you have the ability to create specific fields for certain checkout forms. Uh, so in my mind, you can use this for anything from uh, courses to, you know, services or even one-on-ones, like things like that. Because with the ability to also add the choice block, you have the ability to give them access to certain aspects of the business, all of the things. It's just exciting. You have the appointment block as well, which makes me feel like this can be utilized as a full, full process, meaning you can, instead of having a regular kickoff form, you can use this as your first step to say, okay, before you even get access to the portal, go ahead and fill out this form, pay the invoice, and then go ahead and schedule some time. I think all in all, that just, oh, it makes me so happy. Um, of course, down here, we understand that there are unknown and known targets, but it looks like it's defaulted just to clients. So that means that this can only be sent to the role for clients or at least change any person that is a lead or a prospect specifically to a client, which I'm sure that this is perfect. It kind of eliminates the need for you guys to have to think through the process of, okay, well, I guess if they pay this, then they'll need to become a, a, a client. Then I have to change the, the, set the automation and all the things. But nevertheless, let's go down to coordinator. So of course, this is also going to be able to be set based on this level. And if you don't know what an unknown and known target is, an unknown target is someone who's never filled out a form before. They've never had access to your portal before. They are someone who is from the unknown. But a known target is someone who's actually filled out a form before, or maybe you've manually entered them before. They are someone who would be classified as a known target. So within this form, it still carries the kickoff form vibes, which I love. You can still assign them to a circle. You can still add them to circles, which in this case, I believe if you wanted to import them into your portal, then you can essentially use this to then onboard them with, you know, and I'm imagining it's going to be an onboarding flow. Right. So it's a kickoff form with all the kickoff features. You just can make payments. It's brilliant. Um, so coming down here, you can obviously send them a document if you wanted to. You can also do all of the things like generating a project and even creating these assignments, which are awesome. I'm trying to think through all the things that you could possibly use this for, but it's brilliant. Um, down here, you can obviously still send it over to the coordinator when the, the target completes this. And a target is going to be either the unknown or known target. And then you can obviously send them immediate um, access to the portal. Over here, you also have the ability to require them to pay before accessing the portal. So that means that they can't even get anywhere until they make that payment, navigating them literally to that pay screen. Kind of like if you were ever on a trial with Sweet Dash where they prevent you from moving forward when your, um, your trial is completed, exactly like that. And then for the known targets, of course, it's going to give you those same options, but the only difference is, is that they're known. So instead of getting onboard demand on de onboarding flow, they'll get an on-demand flow and they can get triggered for anything else, but they can still get access to the portal this way as well, which makes it so much better. And you can send a email notification as well. Now to the right side here, you have the ability to do a few things. Obviously you can still do the nat the native things like editing the bill, which we're in now. You can preview the link, you can see the submissions, you have the conditional logics, you have the loading of the templates, 
but their checkout options are now available here, which we saw in the top portion before. And then the portal invitation as well can be customized here as well. And don't forget that you can always save it to make sure it's real because baby, this is how it becomes love. So I'm obviously not gonna really go through <laughs> and make everything custom, but let's for the sake of just going through to see what this looks like. And I would say, go ahead and customize it. But look at this beauty. You obviously can intake information. You can choose a package. You can go to next. Oh, duh, Marie, let's fill the things out, right? Let's just do that real quick. So here we go. First name is not Marty. <laughs> Marie Lewis and of course I can toggle on and off if I'm representing a company it takes that information voila then it takes your credit card information and of course it's trying to sync my stripe but nobody you just you just heard the text anyway it's amazing so thank you sweet dash for always dropping the gems i'm looking forward to all the updates and now i have to go revamp the all of the workflows i'm creating because this is a game changer thank you sweet dash